Hey guys, New Legacy Tom here once again, and welcome to a new series. Football Manager 2014 is now on this channel. I wanted to do something just bigger than a blog series, and I thought this was the uh, I thought this was the the best thing to get me started on. So, uh, as you could probably tell, um, I'm going to be managing Manchester United. Um, and this is all but there you go it says Manchester United hire Britain as manager the Manchester United board have today confirmed the appointment of Thomas Britton as the new boss of Old Trafford Britton enjoys the growing reputation within football and is hoped that his appointment will, man will take Manchester United onto bigger and better things hopefully we can do that alright personal message from Ed Woodward Manchester United Chairman Ed Woodward has welcomed you to Old Trafford, assuring you that you can rely on the full backing of the club's board, unlike, Sonic, unlike uh, David Moyes. In terms of your contract with the club, you have been given a deal until two, June 2014 worth 91000 per week. Um, okay. As part of club's vision, the board expects the following philosophy to be adhered to. Play possession football, play attacking football, and divert players using the club's youth system. That's what's good about Football Manager 2014, guys. If you haven't played this already, compared to FIFA, this is a lot more realistic. And I absolutely love that. And also, the results are pretty uh, realistic as well. Staff members from the previous regime have been retained, but they will all accept the mutual termination of their contracts, which shall, should you wish to bring in your own back backroom team. This is exactly what happened in uh, real life. David Moyes came in with uh, assistant manager Steve Round, brought in his own men. Right, so let's attend this meeting then. Oh, Malcolm Clasier. Alright, I don't have the faces um, for some reason, even though I have done the update and uh, Marilyn and Fellaini and Juan Mata are in the team, so which is, that's good. Um, well, he only gives us one option to that introduction. Great, let's get this meeting started, shall we? Manchester United are obviously a club with a lot of history. The fans really appreciate it when a newly appointed manager has taken time to increase their knowledge of the club. I appreciate you might already know a fair amount of Manchester United's background, but I can send you a detailed interview of the club's history to your inbox if you'd like. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sounds a great idea. Don't want to upset the guy straight off the bat. Um, well, I, I suppose that would upset someone if they researched it, because <laughs> like me, because unlike me, I didn't research it. I, uh, I just did some Manchester United videos. <laughs> um, the club feels that your minimum expectation for your, for the season is to challenge for the league title. That's pretty realistic. At this time, the board are willing to offer you the following budgets. 2.5 million per week. That's not too bad. That's for wage budget. Transfer budget only twelve million. Really, I think that's a bit low. Um, but we'll go with uh, those expectations are exactly in line anyway. I don't want to make the chairman angry, I guess. But that, that sounds a bit low, twelve million. Um, as was mentioned in your welcome message, the club has some specific philosophies that you will be judged on during your time at the club, which are as follows. Play possession football, play attacking football, and develop players to the club's use system. Uh, would you like to arrange a meeting to suggest changes to these philosophies in order to consist in, to consist in improving? Uh, no, I don't feel a meeting is required. It's just to hold a press conference. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you for answering my questions. I'm now going to hand over to your assistant manager. Thank you very much. All right, so here's Mr. Steve Round. Uh, yeah, who will be my assistant manager for this season. Uh, Hi Thomas, I'm Steve Round, your assistant manager. I've got some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day running of the team. Firstly, before we talk about team policies, would you like to arrange an interquad for any tomorrow? Okay. 
we'll do that. I'll have to cancel some friendly then because of that. Okay, I'll set up an inter-squad friendly as you asked. It's being scheduled for tomorrow. I've also written a report for you regarding the team. Would you like me to send it to you? Yes, please. Would you like me to arrange a meeting with the rest of your staff? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, how regularly? Uh, let's do it on a monthly basis. Any other tasks? No. Thanks for your help, Steve. I'll, uh, I'll get going. <laughs> right, let's go to our fixtures now, just real quickly. Um, so we cancel that. Oh, look at that. We have a friendly at home against Bayern Munich. Wow, that's that's going to be pretty interesting. Let's see our first. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty good start to the season. We've got Southampton away from home, West Ham at home, Hull away and Cardiff at home, Fulham at home, Newcastle away, Aston Villa away, then Everton at home, which is really the first. Not easy game, but. Yeah, you know, no, no games are easy in this league. <laughs> right, let's get rid of these. Uh, see, let's get rid of that one. Sorry if it's a bit laggy, guys. I apologise for that. This is the best I could have came up with. Um, okay, I think five friendlies is about right, plus the under-21 one, so... Alright. Let's go for all of these. Alright, let's meet the players. Whole team meeting. Uh, let's go passionate here. I, w I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself to you as the new Manchester United manager. Oh, Vidic says, on behalf of the team, I would like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your management. Right, I'm going to say passionately, I'm very positive about our chances and I think we can go on and win the title this season. Vidic cautiously says, winning the title is a huge challenge but one I know this squad is are up for. But it's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Alright, no players reacted badly. Best reaction was from Carrick. 21 uh, players reacted well, which is pretty good. Uh, round percent support. Alright, here's the staff notices. Uh, dismiss that advice. Um, yeah, let, let's add uh, these two to them. And then these, those three to them. So then I'll show you guys the formation I'll be playing in a minute. Um, ah, now this is where the scouting comes in. Every sort of like uh, like five days almost you would get a scouting report because you don't even have to send your scouts anywhere abroad you could they could just go there and find players for themselves and bring the reports to you which is pretty awesome actually I actually quite like that um, let's go to the team now what I want to show you guys now is the formation I will be playing for the um, the season ahead now I know that oh god why isn't that okay I know that you guys might not like me for doing this but I really like this formation and it's the 4-2-3-1 formation the very attacking style of football if you like right let's add instructions now if you watch football like I do almost all the time you will notice that England, Manchester United, lots of the English clubs like to do some sort of these things. So we're going to retain possession, shorter passing, pass into space, work ball into the box, play out of defence, exploit the middle and look for overlap for penetration. We're going to float crosses instead of drill crosses and run at the defence. We're going to play Raya and push higher up. Uh, we're going to put allow players to swap as well. Uh, hassle opponents, use title marking, much higher tempo. There we go. Right, so this is just going to be really, um, what can I call this? A template 
for uh, the season ahead. So let's go ahead and uh, put De Gea in goal. He will be my main goalkeeper. Ben Amos, I won't be using him. I will probably bring someone in, um, maybe a defender or a left back or something like that. And um, I would have to bring him out because I'm not going to really be using Ben Amos. Um, put Everett there. He's going to be my main uh, left back for this year. There's Raphael. Uh, there's Vidic. And as you may know, uh, guys, if you don't know, but this will be Vidic's last season as a Manchester United player in Football Manager. Pretty sad, but at the same time, he needs to move on. We will all accept that. Come on, Johnny Evans, get into your position. There you go. Again, sorry if it's lagging, guys. I'll try and sort this out for the next one. Let's put Carrick and Cleverly there. Carrick and Cleverly will be my main central midfield. Obviously, we have Fellaini. We have uh, Giggs who can play there. We could have Jones who can play there. Uh, Gagawa could also come back and play there. Um, so, we have lots of options. But for now, we're going to stick with, um, with them two there. Let's put Gagawa there. Where is he? Where is uh, Wayne Rooney? There we go. There he is. Um, there's Valencia on the on the wide area. I would go with Mata on the right, but seeing this is a quick template, I'm going to go with Valencia. Plus, I don't want um, Mata getting injured too quickly, and there's Van Persie there to complete that. Let's put on now the subs. Lindy Garbo goes on my subs bench, along with... Ferdinand, Buckner, God this is so slow, Jesus Christ, Young, I might sell Young but I, then I might not, I'll, I'll go through pre-season with Young and then evaluate his performances and how he's been getting on in training and stuff like that, Hernandez, there, uh, well bet. There, Jones, number nine. One, two, three, okay. Uh, let's take Bain Amos out of his position actually, and then we'll put Smalley and Yanazai there. I will be trying to keep Yanazai fit because obviously he is still pretty young in his career and I want to make sure that he stays fit so that's what I make want to make sure of right, there we go there it says there Manchester United Park company with Moyes give it given suffers pre-season setback okay Britain to meet the media okay all right so we've got some a press conference here do you feel that your ambitions for the club are matched by the chairman? Uh, I do, yes. Our discussions are often creative and there are a lot of good ideas floated which promise good things for the future. Do you feel the expectations after a few this season are being fair and realistic? If the club is to really progress towards the higher reaches of the game, everyone has to be ambitious and aim high. And that's what we're doing at the moment. Uh, the expectations of a team of Manchester United stature are enormous. Do you feel that you will be able to continue their tradition of success? Success is in the club's blood. It's always been delight with facilities. The new managers often bring out times of uphill and some at the club might fear for their jobs. Will there be any changes? Um, there's a good setup here with a high quality with a high quality of players and staff. It is unlikely that I will make any major changes. While well, some managers are famous for their hands-on approach. Others maintain a more reserved manner with their players. How do you see your management style? I want every player to know that they can come to me with anything. Um, I can't stop smiling. This is a wonderful feeling. Um, I'm going to go to fence for that one. Alright, that's the conference over. Let's see if we can beat the under-21 team. Got some email here. Britain happy with forward-thinking club. Ooh... Here we go, right, Hernandez will not go anywhere. I will make sure that none of my players will go anywhere in the, in the windows. I want to make sure that every single player stays where they are. 
No, they don't leave. Um, okay, so that's that's going to be my team <coughs> for today against uh, the under twenty two one side. So let's get into this game. Obviously, now you can see their team. Sam Johnston um, actually on this game is a wonder kid. I will send him out on loan though, but I will be using him in the future if I do do another series. I'll do another season on Football Manager, which I probably will. So there is my team, obviously, and there's their team. They're going with a 4-4-2 style. That's uh, pretty Manchester United-like, isn't it? Right, let's uh, mark all these guys up. Let's do these instructions. If you're wondering what that clicking is, it's me uh, pressing down on the um, black, a little laptop pad thing. The, the click, there we go, the click mouse thing. <laughs> what do I call it? I have no idea. Alright, um, Steve Brown wants us to say, we are the favourites here so we should encourage the team to push on, okay? Go out there and show me what you've got. There's places up for grabs. Impress me. Oh, Johnny Evans looked to gain confidence from that. Okay, we're gonna go passionate for Van Persie. He's still listening keenly. That's pretty good. Same for the midfielders. Oh, Valencia well, looking happy. That's good. No negatives yet. And Chimawayo in the team. Oh yeah, De Gea looked happy, and Raphael looked to gain confidence. Nice. Right. Let's get into this game then. And this is still extremely laggy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to sort this out. Right, here we go. Cleverly. Rooney. Valencia. Into Van Persie. 1-0 Manchester United. Six minutes played. Well, five minutes played, actually. And we are already leading. All right, here comes... Oh, Anderson Wacky one's right back on the attack. But Wilson shoots it over. Right, next highlight coming up. Oh, no, never mind. That was uh, this is a replay. Good goal from one person there, actually. Assist for Valencia there, which is good. And this was the uh, oh, this was the replay of the chance they had right of the uh, right after that. Right. Players looking complacent at the moment. A couple of players looking calm. And Percy in. Cleared. Oh, bitch! 2 0. With 17 minutes played. And we are 2 to the good here because the under 21s. Cleverly with the header back, and there was Vidic. Just waiting for the ball to come to him, really, and heads it into the back of the net. 2 0. Looks like Rooney's took a bit of a knock there. Should be able to shake it off. Uh, let's make those changes. Alright, so looks like nothing's happened so far after that. Crossing's been particularly poor. Let's mark that out. Alright, Evans. James intercepts. Pearson. James. Weir. Pearson. Pereira. Pearson. Oh, Linda guards in. Well done, De Gea. Well done, De Gea. Good kick to Valencia as well. Raphael. Valencia. Cleverly. Couldn't reach Van Persie. Still with Cleverly though. Van Persie. Into Kagawa. 3 0. Let's put it back to contain. This is good. I like it. <laughs> Put it back to very rigid now. Just see the first half out now. Marty 21s can't handle them. Right, let's just uh, show our appreciation. I'm happy with the things that go and keep it up. There we go. There we go. I don't think I need even need to do the um, individual ones. Defenders, midfielders and strikers. Because look at that. Now what I could do is just change it around and bring on all my substitutes. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not. A, I'm not a person who rushes into things. So let's see what happens. Oh, someone's injured. Oh, it's Raphael. 
he's not injured, but he's taken a big knock. But uh, yeah, and Percy Carrick four 0 Twenty five minutes to go, and it's four 0 now to Manchester United. That should be curtains now for. Now just wait it once. Although Barnby, oh, what happened there? Oh dear, De Gea had a bit of a nightmare there. Barnby crossed it in. De Gea went to gather, and he completely missed it, and it went into the back of the net. Oh dear, that was a bit of a shame. Couldn't re keep a clean sheet. Oh well. But look at that. Look at all those greens. Players having a good game. Players having an excellent game. This is what I like. Right, Kagawa, Van Persie, Rooney. Is it Kagawa, Van Persie, Rooney? Oh, I couldn't reach Van Persie again. Lawrence. Well done, Evra. Van Persie. Evra. Galini collects. Love. Oh, couldn't reach Barnby. Valencia. Gone, Valencia. Cross it. Kagawa off the post! Off the post from Kagawa at the back post. Raphael took another has taken another knock. Jeez. Raphael's proving a tough boy today. Right, Kagawa. Van Persie. Come on, Van Persie. Take him on. Kagawa. Kagawa. Inches wide. Great play by Kagawa. Uh, until the finish. All right, final minute. Raphael, Valencia, Rooney, Cleverly, Carrick, Valencia, Rooney, Cl Carrick, Cleverly, Rooney, Van Persie. Trying to reach Valencia, doesn't. Galini clears. Only to Carrick, Rooney, to Raphael, to Cleverly, to Valencia, to Rooney, to Cleverly, to Carrick. Tried to reach Van Persie, didn't. Oh, Rooney still got it. It's five. It's five. This has been a rampant display by my boys. That was a poacher, poacher's goal there by Wayne Rooney, to be honest. Right, this should be the end of the game now. Just a few more seconds. And the game should be over and done with. There we go. Bristol both for full time. Let's be calm. Great performance at, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting such a good performance from a pre-season run out. I'm very happy with that. Well done, lads. Well done. <laughs> right, let's be, um, passionate. Your performance tonight was very good. as hit to them from Percy. I will say that, I will do that to the man in the match players. Um, if they get, um, if one of my players gets the man in the match, I will, um, give them a team talk as well. Sorry guys for the lag, um, if there is lag, um, I'll try and sort this out for the next one. Right guys, so that is the end of part one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please leave a like, it helps me out a lot. And subscribe to become part of the legacy today. And I'll see you guys very soon. See ya! Bye!